Hi guys, Judy here. Well, I've got my my favorite vibe going on here. I got my diffuser going with my peppermint and my lavender. I've got my two cats and dog on my bed. <laughs> and um it's nice and and dark and peaceful. I love it. Anyway, I love you guys. I just wanted to keep I wanted to stay in touch. I know that there's so many exciting possibilities about this year being our rapture year. And um, I just want to talk about that and the walk, this walk of faith, this walk of intimacy, this walk of oneness with our groom. Um, I, it is exciting. I, I I really look forward to the Christmas season because it was four years ago. Um, on it'll be four years at Christmas Day of this year, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Yeah, um, that you know, God f fell on my son on November nineteenth in twenty thirteen and said he was coming. And hit the very first date set that he gave my son was December twenty fifth, Christmas or was it the whatever Christmas Day is. I always forget if it's the twenty fourth or twenty fifth. <laughs> <laughs> but it was Christmas Day, and that was the first date set he gave him. And it's just, it's just, it's magical. I still, every Christmas I get so excited because that that Christmas changed the whole course of my life. And for four years I've been living as a rapture centric, and God coined that term. I never made, I couldn't have made that up. I just, I was in my kitchen, and he he made that term up, and and um. He is a wonderful groom. He is wonderful. And I, he lets me call him shady because I don't always understand his ways. And to me, it seems like he's a little shady. And he is in our realm. Yeah. I mean, if you just read the Bible, I mean, come on. He's, it's shady in this realm, okay? But in this realm, he's also very, um, he does things that are really understandable and wonderful. Okay, but... There's some things that he does that it looks pretty shady, and um, but we know he's he's really not shady. It's just when we see him in his realm, it'll be well. Well, well he has said we'll understand it all, you know. But I I love it. I I was laughing in the car the other day. I said, God, you're so shady, but I love it. Keep being you, and just keep giving me faith. You know when you're like this, because <laughs> no one's like our God. He's full of mystery. Don't you love somebody you can't figure out all the time? It can be maddening because we want to we want to know everything so we can be in control, right? But just to just oh, our groom is wonderful, and I've been embracing his shady side, you know. And when I say that, I'm very clear to let you know that he's it doesn't mean he's not good. He's wonderful. We just don't understand it all, right? I've been embracing that side of him. I've been embracing. It's just been kind of fun. We've been kind of going back and forth, and um, me and my groom about some of the weirdness and things he has me. <laughs> he's 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 wonderful though. Has me involved in, and you know, um, when you know it's God, you know that you know that you know that you know. Nobody can tell you otherwise. He's wonderful. I just want to encourage everybody. You know what? We probably won't wake up here in twenty eighteen, but if we do. You shouldn't even be looking that far. Okay, don't even look that far. But I, I need to say this. You know, you could survive it because you're in oneness with Christ and you can do all things through him who strengthens you. Many of us feel like our right arm or left leg is being cut off, you know, when we wake up here. But... He's shown so many of us our future and so many beautiful things that he has for us and things that we're going to be doing for his kingdom. And and so it, it's almost agony and torture, you know, to be here in light of such an exciting future. It's kind of like when you're engaged to be married on the earth and you just, you can't, you, can, you just can't wait. I remember those feelings, you know, you just, oh, I just have to be with you. I have to live in the same house with you. I don't, I want to, don't. I don't want to keep driving home to my home every day, you know, and it's just maddening, right? And then you get married and then you're together, you know, and, and that's just, it's the same thing with our groom. It's maddening. We want to be with him. We want to be with our brothers and sisters in Christ whom we love and we want to 
We want to do, you know, and, and be with people that God has shown us uh, destiny with and He's and, and the new earth he's going to make and oh, this place is evil and filthy and it's good that you don't like it. It's good that you hate it. But we like Christ and because we like him, we carry on. We carry on and we wake up and we do what we need to do out of love for our groom and um, we hang in there. And so I just wanted to share that with you. Um, you will be just fine. He did not call wimps to be rapture centric. You're powerful. And when I feel the most wimpy is really when I'm the most powerful. I'm just like, oh, I want to bury my head and cry. And that's actually when I'm, I'm the most powerful in Christ because it's all his strength because, you know, I'm at the end of mine. It's beautiful. I love it when I run out of my strength. I have a lot. I'm a type A. I can run around and do a lot. But you know what? I, when I come to the end of it, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing when he energizes me too, but it's also a beautiful thing when I have nothing left. <sighs> so embrace it all, guys. Embrace every part of God. The shady part, and I call it that, it's because we don't understand it. So it appears a little weird. It appears a little... He told me I could say that. He's like, it's okay. You know, and so I do. And it feels good to just be honest about it. You know, so many people about this walk, all they want to do is quote flowery scriptures and not be real. I'm real, okay? I've known him over 25 years now. And if I didn't get honest with God, I would never have the intimacy I have. I, I'm honest with him. I tell him when I'm mad, when I'm sad, when I think things look weird, when I think he's being cruel, when I think this is goofy, when I this is stupid, you know? I mean, we talk about everything. And I respect him, but he calls me his friend, and so he's my king. So I have the right to go before him and be very casual like a best friend. But he's my king, and so I lay my crown at his feet, and I lay, and I humble myself before him. And then, you know, we and I just say, but you're God, and you're good, and you know everything, and I'll be your friend, and you'll be my friend. And you need me, God, and I need you. Isn't that neat to think that God needs us? He does. He needs my cheery disposition, my goofiness, and I need him. I need so much of what he offers me. Okay, and, and, and he needs he needs a part of me that nobody else can give him. Okay, so you guys, you're important. You're special. So can you please understand that and 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 be there for your groom and understand that you you I know some of you are struggling with your worth, but you're worth something to God, and that's all that matters. So embrace that, okay? If everything is falling apart, just embrace that, that he needs you. And he loves you. And um, you guys have a good night. I've got to get up really early tomorrow. And um, I, I just care about you. And I just want to just touch base and say hi. And just encourage you to continue to just stay cheek to cheek with your groom. He's coming. And he'll tell you. Ask him, is it really this year? Is it really now? And watch him just encourage you, encourage you, encourage He's going to encourage you to believe it's today and every day. Okay, and um, he had me do a few things that I had to do for 2018, but he tells me like he did last year, don't plan on it, but go ahead and make that preparation. But, you know, doesn't mean you're going to be here for it, as in the days of Noah, right? As in the days of Noah. Yeah, I brought a 2018 calendar. Of course I bought one. It was only a dollar and it was cats. I love cats. I always have to get my new cat calendar. Do I think I'm going to be here to use it? No, but if I am got it right it's it's weird guys we're straddling two worlds but God's in it and he didn't call you if he didn't think you were strong enough to live like this so you can do it it gives him glory it gives him glory that you're agonizing and suffering and agonizing and over him coming and agonizing about just wanting to be with him and to be out of this world that gives him glory it gives him glory that you're excited to see him it gives him glory that you hate this planet okay so so live in that, yeah, but also remember you've been given a spirit of peace, love, joy. You need to be walking in peace, freedom, power, love, kindness, gentleness. You get all those fruits of the spirit to make your day, okay? So don't forget to walk in all that because that's if I didn't have that 
energizing love and peace and joy leading and directing me. I, I, I just, I wouldn't. So it's, it's, I wouldn't want to be here. It's all Christ and that peace that the world can't give. Christ floods us with at just the right moment. Okay, so hang in there. I love you guys. Bye-bye.